Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Christian from Bid Branding, and today we're gonna go over how to remove the Powered by Shopify link on your store's footer. Let's get into it. All right, so there are two ways that you can do this. Number one, we're gonna go here to online store. We're gonna wait for this to load. Go to actions, the drop down on the actions and we can go to edit languages. Once that loads, you can go to the search and search for powered. And this will bring up any time that that word is mentioned on your website. So right now we have it for our general password page and our checkout and systems link. Uh, so right here, you can go to just backspace, whatever is written, or if you don't have anything, just add a space so that it completely gets rid of it. Same over here on the password page. You can just delete that, add a space, and make sure that they're both blank. Once you have that going on, you can click Save. I'm gonna go ahead and go to our preview page so you can see what I'm talking about here. So right here at the bottom, it says Powered by Shopify, and it has a link to Shopify. That's what we're trying to get rid of. And it looks like this already saved. So let's go ahead and refresh the page. And we see here at the bottom that the Powered by Shopify link has been deleted. Now, that's sort of the easy way to do it. And a lot of Shopify uh, themes have the ability to for you to edit the language. Um, you may have a different type of theme that maybe uh, you can edit that part, but it still won't go away. So I'm gonna go into the actual edit code and show you how to find that and get rid of it. All right, so in order to do it the second way, we can go to actions and then edit code. And then within the edit code is very important to uh, try not to change anything else on any of these files. Uh, deleting a period from the code can actually break your website in different ways. Uh, so it's very important to stay um, within the things that you know how to change and just change those things. Uh, so for example here, um, this shows you all the files for the website. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna search for the footer. When we search for the footer, you'll see under sections, you have a footer.liquid. We're gonna open that one. And then in here, I'm gonna click on the text here and then Command F or Control F if you're on PC. And it's gonna open up the search. Right here on the search, we can type in the same word, powered. And you will see here it says small, all this line of code right here and then powered by link. So all you have to do is grab that right there. Oops. Just grab that right there, just the powered by link between those two brackets, then backspace and save that. And that should be it. You can just exit out of that and go back to your dashboard and you can check it. I mean, already deleted it from the edit languages, so I didn't have to necessarily do that step for my theme, but there are other themes that it requires you to actually edit the code, and that's how it's done. See you next time. Hey, thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video on how to get rid of that Power by Shopify link, make sure to subscribe, thumbs up, and leave a comment down below, and let us know what do you want to know next regarding Shopify.